Hi, this is Joe and welcome back to the shop. Within the last six months or so I picked up uh, a new 3D printer and have been experimenting with uh, 3D printing as uh, a form of uh, quick manufacturing or quick product producing of parts. Um, so we're going to start looking at uh, some things I've learned and uh, be able to pass this information on to you. Um, I put together, I, I, I want to get into printing more ABS parts. So what I've done is uh, did some research and a lot of people are creating enclosures for their 3D printers. So I put together an inexpensive uh, under $10 PVC frame enclosure with a plastic uh, wrap around. I'll pull that off here and show you a little closer of what's going on. Let me pull that, pull that off and I'll then restart the camera. I have a uh, Anycubic i3 Mega Ultra Base, a very uh, uh, fairly good priced uh, printer, and the quality is really nice. Um, what I've done here, as I said, I put together uh, some P inexpensive PVC pipe uh, over uh, the printer and then cover that in plastic. Uh, one thing, and a lot of other people have gone this route, one, th one thing I did uh, to enhance this size, uh, if you notice on the right hand side of the, the enclosure there, uh, I have a small desktop um, heater. And so what I, I've been experimenting preheating the environment inside the, the wrap plastic um, while the bed is heating up. And I've also been experimenting with running the heater as the print job is printing. And I've gotten very, very good results. Um, heating up the space and heating up the uh, filament roll, keeping everything at pretty much a static temperature really improves the print quality. So um, I'll uh, I'm going to pause the camera here and, and uh, zoom in on a couple of pieces that I've, I've printed to show you just how fine um, ABS can be printed uh, in a heated environment. Here are two uh, parts, um, uh, boat uh, cleats, uh, both printed in different materials. Uh, the cleat in the foreground was printed with PETG without the enclosure with normal temperatures for PETG. The part in the rear or background uh, was printed with the enclosure, with the heater on. Uh, it's ABS and uh, hopefully you can see the detail in the video, but there's quite a bit of uh, aberrations in the PETG part. Uh, there's a lot of lines, a little bit of distortion, uh, but looking at the, uh, the ABS part, the um, layer lines are extremely fine. You almost cannot see them. You, they're very minute. Um, the quality of the ABS print was just amazing by using the heater and the enclosure. Um, normally, I, when I'm attempting to print ABS without the enclosure, uh, the part would warp, or uh, it, the first layers would not stick properly to the to the bed and I would have to abort the print and retry again. Um, but as you see here, using the enclosure with the heater, uh, the, the, the results are pretty amazing. Uh, what I'm using now for a heated base material is blue tape, and on top of the blue tape, I'm using a little bit of glue stick and, with, uh, and then printing a raft. Uh, with a slightly higher temperature and then over as the layers increase the temperature drops back down uh, I'm really impressed with what I see and uh, Hopefully you'll be able to see these results and uh, this will be some good information that you might want to try with your own printer Another uh, project that I've started was I purchased uh, an inexpensive uh, a Prusa i3 style a Chinese clone printer for $103 directly off of eBay. Um, I'm going to go through and uh, on camera and we're going to evaluate all the components, uh, you know, see uh, if it's worth uh, the $103. Uh, we're going to do some printing. Uh, we're going to, going to um, do some upgrading um, of this printer. As a baseline, I'm using my Anycubic i3 Mega Ultra Base. Um, I paid approximately oh, about 
$50 for that printer. This printer, again, $103. And I'm going to try some different things. Um, I purchased a new frame, metal frame. So we're going to do some upgrades, and then we're going to compare the quality uh, of the the inexpensive printer modified uh, against the uh, Anycubic uh, 3D printer. So those will be coming up in uh, future videos. So please stay tuned and uh, hopefully you'll get some um, knowledge out of these videos.